What's on your easel? What's on your easel? What's on your easel today? All right. So, okay. So the sexy redheaded Darcy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show the sexy redheaded Darcy off again. Because uh, it was, you know. So for those of you that have never seen, there's the sexy redheaded Darcy, and you know I have a thing for the gingers. <laughs> pretty girls, I like some pretty girls. All right, so let's zoom back out to 100 percent, and this is her documented life project. And this is an envelope she did for uh, Gillian from G Plus. So she starts with spatters and paint, and stamps and stencils, markers. She etches out a place for the address and the postage. And adds a silhouette, gives it butterfly wings, makes it a fairy. That's a pretty envelope. I like that kind of stuff. And here's another one. This time with like the things that Mario jumps over. Oh, he's not. He, she said it was low-grade fever. It's not, not a real, not a, not a issue. But thank you, I thought. And then, oh, it's a fence post. What happened? What just happened? It's a fence post with butterflies and moths and birds and grass. And then here's another one. Art journal inspired. Darcy, I'm loving these. That's great. Grand, that's just grand stuff right there, Darcy. That's just really nice stuff. And then, is that the only thing you sent? I think that's the only thing you sent. And then, <coughs> the dark and sexy Jay, whom I'm not going to show you pictures of because I'm so jealous of his luxurious long black hair. What is this? There's a message. What does the message say? First to a friend, the sketch on canvas and the painted underpainting after 45 minutes in oils. The other is a self-portrait of my book. So here's Fran. This is the sketch of Fran. <laughs> he calls that a sketch. Wow. My sketches don't look anything like that. And then... Here it is after 45 minutes with some oil work. He's not done yet. It's just, you know, that's where he stopped to take a picture. But it's not a sketch anymore to him. And then... Self-portrait of him for the book. Nice. See, I was not going to show you a picture of him. Because <clears throat> he's got the whole goth Viking thing working for him. He's like seven foot tall, muscular. I hate him. <laughs> so there's that. Make sure nobody else sent me anything. No. No. Okay. So there's that, and then on my easel, I'm still doing the Everyday Matters things, <coughs> and uh, you might have noticed that I have gotten out of the, uh, I've gotten out of the habit of arting as frequently as I used to. Around October, I somehow got out of the habit. Well, this has kind of inspired me, so this was uh, Draw Something Sparkly. I don't know how to make things sparkle with graphite pencil, but if you'll remember the, those of you that used to come to classes, I've got the whole sparkly ball thing on a stick so that we can talk about perspective. And that's what that was. And then, Draw Something from Memory. You know, I don't. I guess I don't remember what the General Lee actually looked like. 
but uh, it's about, this is almost the back end of a GTO, except there's a steering wheel and mirrors. I don't know what was going on there. Obviously, I work better with a <laughs> with a visual. And then on Watercolor Wednesday, I got me a nice little guitar, guitar which is exactly what the one hanging on the wall. Not not exactly what it looks like, but a lot like the one hanging on the wall looks like. So that that is what I have been working on. Oh, it looks like it does look more. That car look, did look more like three dot DVD said it looks like a Falcon. Yeah, apparently it doesn't look anything like a GTO. I promise you. So anyway, um, that's what I've been working on, and this actually inspired me to paint a little more uh, like we used to. So I have the sack of images that, we, that we, I used to choose from. And let's just see. Corn. So I'm going to paint corn big. Because I've got to get back in the habit of painting. So this week, corn. Right? That's how we used to do it. That's how we're going to do it again. You like the guitar? Athala says the guitar looks 3D to her. You like the guitar? I tell you what, the little, the little watercolor Wednesday thing's really been fun. Which is kind of what we're doing this week on the show. So... <clears throat> So, uh, that's what was on my easel, and that's what was on your easel. If you'd like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel somewhere in it, so that when YouTube says, you don't have rights to put that on there, I can say, yes, I do. They gave me permission. Here is proof. Uh, just send it to me in an email, blade at artisticbiker.com, subject line easel. Hit me up on Facebook, same thing. Hit me up on G+, if people still do that, same thing. Uh, even Twitter works in a direct message if as long as it says, you know, here's what's on my easel for the show. Uh, and we'll get it on, we'll show it off for people, give you a shout out and give you a link to give a link to your website. So guys, uh, thank you very much. This is absolutely dry, but I'm gonna pretend it's not because running the hair dryer makes a great segue to get back to the show. So we're gonna dry this a little bit more, take a little break, and we'll be right back. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.